and welcome back to the Ohio Fisherman, everybody. I am out here at Pima Tuning Reservoir. It is rough on this Monday. We actually came out here Friday, camping for the weekend. We had a big group trip. We ended up getting a seven shoreline spot, three spots behind us reserved. We had a pretty big party. But this northeast wind on this huge lake has been rough. We haven't got any fishing done all weekend. Kids caught a couple fish for sure. Tim caught a couple catfish as always. He actually got a, a uh, piebald channel cat. First one I've ever seen a person. I'm gonna insert a picture of that right now. And Tim got that on chicken and Kool-Aid. Uh, this is the first time ever using that chicken and Kool-Aid. Man, it is rough out here in my little boat. Besides that sailboat, I am the only guy out here today. Uh, but it's just fishable. Um, like I said, been out here for three days, haven't even got to fish. I took Friday and Saturday, sun, uh, Friday and Monday off work, so I'm gonna fish today if I can. Everybody else left, but I tried casting a little bit. It's it's rough <laughs> in this little boat. Um, so I'm just trolling around now. I'll probably start casting a little bit here again before I go. But leaves really changed a lot over this weekend. It's beautiful. That northeast wind. We were uh, camping right there on the shore. That uh, was really, really rough. But hopefully I can pick one up. And then I'll go and cast on the back side of that island here in a little bit, a little bit more. See if I can grab one. Marking a lot of fish. Marked a couple of really big fish, but I don't know. I'm just fishing because I haven't got the fish, you know. We'll see what happens. Well... Stop for a little break over here behind the island. I love this little island. This side's a little deeper with some weeds over here. It's got a nice weed edge. The sandbars right there. All the seagulls are on. That's all underwater when the lake's at full level. They've already drained it a couple of feet for the year. But this island's pretty nice to swim off of, actually. It's really nice. You can just see those waves crashing. But it's nice and calm over here. I'm not quite freezing as much. So I'm gonna cast some bucktails and some glide baits over here where it's calm some. And I just want to stay out of that wind. It is cold out there. Nasty. So I'd at least like to see a muskie. That crow's laughing at me up there. I'd at least like to see a muskie while I'm out here. So we'll see what happens. Well, last time I was out fishing, I hooked into uh, that monster muskie out there on the bulldog. First one I ever hooked into on a bulldog. And uh, so I got this big, huge Medusa here, too. It's my first time throwing this big dog. Uh, God, this thing's heavy. It is a champion to throw. It is, looks pretty good down there in the water. All those tails spinning around, though. So I've been casting this around out here and. Uh, 10 foot and some calmer water off the island. I think I'm going to go back out there to that chop into about 12 to 15 foot. Because this wind out there is blowing me about a mile and a half. Uh, perfect drift speed for walleye. But I think I'm going to go out there about that 12 to 15 foot out there in that bay and uh, just drop it down under the boat. Just jig it up and down while the uh, wind drifts me and see what happens. See if I get one like that. Let's check it out. But I can throw in spinners, crankbaits. I tried throwing some uh, two different uh, glide baits. Back in here, I haven't raised a fish yet. So, got it. Oh, the fish is just look like carp. Carp just jumped over there. All right, we're on it. Definitely <laughs> nicer back there in uh, <laughs> behind the island, man. This is definitely the roughest stuff I take. Take my little tin can out in. Definitely. Wouldn't be out here more than this. Starting to get a few white caps. A few white caps out here now. I don't know how much longer I'm going to give it today. Not going fishing again for two weeks. For, uh... Well, 
I tried and I tried. It's starting to get a little dark out. I still got, you know, an hour and a half ride home back to Akron. And got to unpack and go to work tomorrow. Uh, don't forget, if you like my content, you know, hit that like button. If you want to see my videos, you know, hit subscribe. You can turn the notification bell on or off. Doesn't really matter. Whatever you want. Um... Yeah, probably no fishing next weekend, but uh, the weekend after that, what is the October uh, 14th weekend, I'm gonna be shooting down there to Salt Fork. I got three spots reserved down there right next to each other, and a couple of my friends canceled, but I'm gonna keep all three of the spots. If you like to party really hard at night, you got a little boat or a kayak, you wanna come down and musky fish all day, you know, party by the fire at night, boys only trip, hit me up, let's make it happen. Probably be the last few rock camping of the year and maybe a couple more day trips and then getting ready for steelhead night fishing. So, Ohio fishermen out, no fish, see you guys.